okay, hi. So one of the kids has um, a cold and the other one has a throat that he thinks he's getting cold, a cold. I don't know if that's true. But anyway, we are out of our elderberry syrup. We have one more dose and so I thought I would make a video on, on how I make it. Um, so I have a big, big pot and um, I take four cups of water, filtered water. Oops, turn on the wrong one. And pour it in. And um, there it is. <laughs> and then I take one cup of elderberry. And um, this I got from Mountain Rose Herbs. And I'm almost out. Have to order again soon. But um, so this is what they look like. They're dried. And I put them in the water. This is going to boil. Then, um, then you also can put cinnamon. I just I have a cinnamon here, and I'm just going to put that in. And then I happen to have osha root, and I guess uh, one one time that I um, ordered the elderberries, I also got the osha root. And osha root is really good for a lot of stuff. <laughs> it supports the respiratory system. It's antiviral, Hi. antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antifungal. You can also make tea with this and just kind of steep it like... Um, go really low and you can just drink the drink it as tea you would use much less than this and then just kind of do a low boil but I'm gonna throw it in here because this is gonna make that elderberry syrup even better and elderberries itself also have a lot of you know amazing properties and can produce um, healing on the cellular level okay and then um, the recipe I have calls for ginger and I happen to have ginger today um, but a lot of times I don't have ginger or I don't have whatever. And then you can always just go to your pantry and do dried ginger or whatever it is that you have on hand. Dried cinnamon. If you have powdered cinnamon, that's fine too. So I'm just going to throw it in. It's super easy because it's going to boil. It's going to extract all that out. And then I also happen to have licorice root, which I also got from Mountain Rose Herbs. And this is also an immunity booster, an anti-inflammatory, and an expectorant. And plus it's going to give like a little bit of a uh, nice uh, flavor for it. Then also I, I just realized, uh, I just found out recently that it also helps fight candida. And, um, and it can help with staph infections. I don't know. So... I'm putting some of that in. I, I don't really have a recipe because I'm just I always go through my pantry and see what I happen to have. And so again, this is not all you really need is the okay, so I'm just doing a little bit more than a tablespoon because it's pretty strong. And we don't need we don't need it to overpower the elderberries because the elderberries taste so good. Okay, and then I'm gonna to, I'm gonna boil this for about probably at least an hour or two. And I'll see you later.